Hello and welcome to my channel where I do guides for photography. Today we are inside on one Raw 2022 and we are going to do a couple of images with kind of a different uh, processing technique. Now the first image we are going to do is actually an image of this rooster and the reason why we are doing this rooster is simply to try and do something different for once. So let's just jump in and get started with this one. So the first thing I want to do is to set the general tone. So I'm going to go up a bit on the contrast here and down a bit on the highlights. Let's move up the mid tones quite a bit to around there and the shadows just a little bit. And I'm holding down the J key to see if we are clipping or crushing any blacks, and we aren't. So I'm just going to set a black point, negative one, and let's do a white point as well. So I'm just moving up the whites until we are clipping. And we are starting to clip there, so I'm going to back that white point off a bit. Let's just zoom in and see. Yeah, the... <laughs> Image is really sharp to start with, so, but I want to sharpen the image even more. So we should probably just get started doing that. So I'm just going to set the white balance first. And I kind of like that. Let's move into effects and I'm going to add a sharpness filter. So just clicking sharpening and I'm going to drop the opacity to around 80. And I'm going to go into the masking options and let's hit invert. And I'm going to paint the sharpening in on the bird itself. So I'm hitting shift X to change from paint out to paint in mode. And let's just do this a bit quickly. And I'll fast forward to where I'm done with the masking. Okay, so we are done with the mask and uh, yeah, the reason why we are masking the bird is because I don't want to sharpen the background here. It's already pretty sharp <laughs> and I want to make the bird stand out from the background. So I need more details to the bird than to the background. And uh, the sharpening here really helps and of course it does a good job of simply sharpening the bird. So this is with sharpening and this is without sharpening and you should be able to see that there's clearly a difference between the two here. So that's fine. I'm going to copy this mask and we are actually going to sharpen it just a bit more with a tone enhancer. Uh, and Let's go into the mask options and paste the mask in. And I'm going to go up on the details slightly and actually up a bit on the clarity as well. So it should be really visible what we did. So let's see, this is wood out and this is wood. And that's great. Let's move into local adjustments and I'm going to hit detail on the preset here and I'm actually going to go up slightly on the shadows as well and I'm just going to paint that into the eye of the bird here so uh, let's just enlarge this a bit and I'm just painting it in to the eye and let's see this is without and this is with the local adjustment and I think that does a good job uh, making the eye stand out just a bit more and that's fine. So let's see, uh, we can do a vignette actually. We could also, also do a dynamic contrast, but I'm afraid it would be too much. So let's just finish off 
no actually let's do the crop first so <laughs> yeah i could go for a 69 crop let's see how that looks and let's move that down to around there and let's move into the eye like this and now <laughs> let's go for original ratio or free form actually let's go for free form and let's sit the eye in this section of the thirds and that's fine let's hit apply and let's add a vignette and I'm going to use the big softy. I'm going to go all the way down on the feather so I can see what the wingnet does. And let's move the wingnet and frame in the bird just a bit there. So something like this. Let's move up the feather again to, yeah, to around there. And I'm going to drop the overall opacity on the wingnet there. So this is without the wingnet, and this is with the wingnet. And I think this uh, really does a good job. Now, the reason why I selected this image is, is because it tells a story. You have the rooster walking in from the right side, and you can see that it's going to walk all the way over and out of the frame on the left side. You also have a ton of leading lines into the bird hair so your eyes are automatically drawn to the bird so it's a really effective image when it comes to composition uh, i don't usually do bird photos or animal photos but uh, this uh, handsome rooster i had to i had to snap it and uh, yeah that's this image. Let's just have a look at the before and after. So this is where we started and this is where we are at. And I think it's, uh, yeah, it's a nice conversion. So the next image we are going to do, what should that be? Let's do this Viking. He's obviously telling a story. He's uh, narrating the story with his hands as well. And uh, it's a interesting image but the composition isn't all that great so we are going to fix that first maybe we should make it to a more portrait mode by using the crop tool so let's go in and i'm just gonna hit this arrow keys uh, what that does is to change the uh, composition uh, let's just have a look there Reform. we have to have original ratio and do something like that let's move that down to around there and frame in this viking or something like that yeah like that hit apply okay so let's see he should be sharp. So let's see if he is sharp. Yeah, he's kind of sharp. So we need to fix that as well. I'm just going to fix the crop here. I'm not entirely happy about the crop. So let's go for something like this. Fine. Uh, we can hit the AI auto to see what that does. And I think maybe not. So let's just reset that and do it manually. So I'm going to drop the highlights because he has really a ton of highlight on this part of his forehead. I'm going up a bit on the mid-tones, up a bit on the shadows, and we are going to set the black point. So I'm holding down the J key while I'm uh, going down on the blacks to around there. Let's go down on the highlights. And we can try and set the white point and now yeah something like that and let's add some contrast yeah that kind of works all right so let's do the white balance here so hit the auto button and that's fine 
Let's go into effects and we are going to add a sharpening filter and let's have a look. I don't want to sharpen too much, so I don't want any halos appearing around the hair. Uh, so we need to make sure that we aren't over sharpening. And I don't think we are, but I'm going to drop the opacity just a little bit. Yeah, something like that. And we are going to do the same again. So we are hitting invert. And let's go out. And I'm going to paint the sharpening filter in on this man here. So I'm just going to do that and fast forward to where I'm done painting that in. All right, so we are done. <laughs> it's not the best masking job I've ever done, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit rushed as I don't want to spend too much time doing the masking here. Uh, let's hit the O key and yeah, let's go in and have a closer look at the sharpening. And yes, I think it works. Now, one thing about older men is that high contrast really works well on females it doesn't work well but on older men it really works well so we can try and use the dynamic contrast filter to even make him more contrasty and yeah it might seem that it's a bit too much but let's just keep it anyway and what we can do is to copy the mask from the sharpening and apply that to the dynamic contrast filter. So I'm hitting copy and then going over to the dynamic contrast into the mask and I'm pasting that in. So that should make the man here stand out a bit more. And I think that really works well. So we now have two filters here. We could add a vignette again and maybe do a subtle vignette. Let's try the strong one as well. Yeah, I think that works. Uh, let's just drop the feather and place the vignette a bit up like that maybe and go up on the feather again. And yeah, that makes for a strong image. But one thing I like to do with portraits like this, or this is actually a snapshot, I wouldn't call it a portrait. But anyway, one thing I like to do is to try <laughs> a black and white version of it. And I kind of like it already. I'm going to go into tone and I'm just going to add some more contrast maybe open the shadows a bit but drop the blacks as well and i'm hitting the j key again i don't mind crushing a bit of blacks on uh, portraits but uh, not too much and i need to drop the highlights a bit something like that maybe and yeah that works so let's go through the sliders here uh, Let's see what the red does. Yeah, let's bring that up just a bit. The yellow. Yeah, I kind of want to bring that up as well. I don't think there's any green here. Yeah, there's a little bit green up there. And aqua. Yeah, something like that. The blues. And the magenta. And yeah, let's drop the magenta a bit. All right, I think we need some more blacks. Even though we are crushing a bit, I'm just going to drop it a bit there. Let's go back to develop. And I'm going to open up the shadows slightly. And maybe even the mid-tones. Let's see here. Yeah, something like that. And let's drop the highlights. And... Yeah, I'm just playing around with the shadow slider here. And I think it works like 
yeah something like that and let's play with this haze slider as well and that works for me and finally the contrast yeah I think maybe something like that and that's really a contrasty image but I like it anyway so let's hit the preview button so this is where we started and this is where we are right now so it's a bit dramatic and <laughs> maybe a bit too much blacks in this image but uh, I kind of like it anyway so I'm going to keep it like that all right do we have time for another image let's go out and see yeah let's simply do this one really quickly here so i'm hitting d for develop and let's uh, play around with this so let's add some contrast drop the highlights a bit and i'm hitting the j key on my keyboard just to see if we are clipping or crushing we aren't but i'm going to drop the blacks to around there and let's uh, go up on the whites and yeah to something like that and let's play around with the shadow slider and that's fine and the mid-tones yeah let's open the mid-tones as well okay so let's dehaze just a little bit and hit the white balance and that's fine and yeah let's do a dynamic contrast filter and a tone enhancer so we aren't doing sharpening filter right now let's just do tone enhancer instead and i'm adding some details and some clarity and i think this works let's add a vignette and i'm going for big softy and let's drop the feather and move the wingnet more down like this that's fine let's open the feather again and you can see i have some sort of bulky effect going here uh, let's see here it's the, the stop is f 3.5 so that's the reason why we have this bulky effect and it's uh, sharpest in this area we could could actually <laughs> make it even more bulky so let's add a filter and let's go for blur there we are and you can see that this really blurs it down so let's do something like this this is without the blur filter and this is with the blur filter and let's blur it even more and we are going into the mask options and up on the mask toolbar into the masking bug and we are going for shape and we are going to set center and i'm going to hit that around there and let's make the mask a bit smaller and angle it to something like that and pull it down even more and then we are going to increase the feather and let's see here so this makes <laughs> this part of the image really stand out while the other parts of the image are quite blurry and that's a pretty effective effect to pull the viewers eyes into where you want them to look so as you can see this is without the blur filter and it's pretty blurry around the focal point already but if we hit the blur filter it blurs it down and we can even go up on the opacity so it makes a big difference at least it does to me and uh, let's see this is where we started pretty flat and pretty boring and this is where we are at right now okay so i think that's it for this video if you like this video hit the like button if you want to watch more from me hit that subscribe button 
And if you want to buy or try on one foot row 2022, hit the links in the description. That's an affiliate link and that will support me if you want to do that. Or you can simply go to onone.com and uh, download it directly through the web page there. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.